In addition to placement with traditional keyboard and mouse, we also simulated device placement in virtual reality. Here, two devices are placed in different orientations to assess fit and the potential for LVOT obstruction. We first place a long device, roughly orthogonal to the mitral annulus. We then angle the device towards the posterior medial papillary muscle and note the increased area in LVOT. We then perform a similar placement with a shorter device. Next, we demonstrate device placement into volume rendered 3D echo images of an adolescent patient with rheumatic mitral valve disease in order to demonstrate the potential for use of these methods in native volume rendered images, as well as the potential for application to transcatheter mitral valve therapies. We first place the device in systole. then in diastole. We examined the potential for LVOT obstruction as well as interference with other structures.